Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Allie. I'm going to be keeping this intro short because I feel like today's video is going to be a lengthy one. I'm going to be testing out a bunch of different washout temporary hair dyes. I filmed something similar to this in the past and I will link that video in the description below. And I also have a hair care playlist that I will also link in the description below that has pretty much any of my hair related videos that I filmed here on my channel since I started my channel. If you guys have any other questions or concerns, make sure to ask them in the comments below. Below. any product that I mentioned in this video I will link in the description if you're interested in checking it out for yourself now without further ado let's get on into it okay we're gonna start off with a product that provoked me wanting to film this video in the first place it is the Everpro gray away temporary root concealer your girl has a plethora of gray hair it is only getting worse with age. Long story short, I was supposed to go to the salon about three weeks ago, the same exact week that they pretty much shut our entire state down and closed all salons. So I was not able to go to my appointment. I had to postpone it. And my grays have gotten so, so bad. Let me see if I can give you a little close up right now. I'm sure you guys can see like, this is just one little part in my hair. It's pretty bad right now. Like. I don't even have enough fingers and toes to count how many are just in this one little section and that is throughout my entire head. So I'm going to be testing this out. I got the shade light brown. I ordered all of these offline. We're trying to limit the amount of contact that we have with the public as much as possible. So I ordered everything offline. So I'm not quite sure if the shade is going to match up with my actual hair color because I did not go into the store and look at all these. I just kind of looked online and there's only so much you can actually compare and contrast online. Well, we're gonna go with it and we're gonna hope that it works. This is not a product that is supposed to cover your whole head. You basically are supposed to just part your hair wherever you're gonna have your part for the day and you just spray this little section. So if you have gray like all of your hair, if your hair is actually turning gray, like from the root down, I don't think that this would be the product for you. Mine are just like sporadic grays here and there. So hopefully this will cover it up. This is what the bottle looks like. I got light brown and now I'm semi regretting that decision because I think it's gonna be a little too light, but I'm gonna shake it up. I have my mirror right here and I'm just going to go to town with it. Oh my God, my grades are so bad. Whew. All right, here we go. Shake, shake, shake. Whoa. What even? Oh. Oh my god, I missed like one little strand right here. <gasps> what? This is like night and day. Honestly, covered every single one of the grays. <gasps> oh, I'm so happy right now. Not like I'm going anywhere, literally getting dressed up and done up to just stay home, but it just makes me feel better because I feel like I'm just looking at these grays every single day and it's like, oh, I hate them. But wow. That worked amazingly. Let me do this little section right there. Wow, all right, let me give you a close up. Huge fan, 10 out of 10, would recommend. Do you see that? Wow. Okay, so I just did it using this tiny little mirror, this little handheld mirror. I'm going to go into the bathroom and then I'll touch it up and do like everything that I missed. But first impression, it's, that's amazing. It actually matches my shade too, which is really exciting. Guys, get this if you have like little grays combing through. It wasn't like super expensive and it is completely full still. And I just used, I would say I used a decent amount on there. This isn't something that I would do like every single day, especially now I'm just staying home. But I would definitely do this on like nights out or date nights out when we're allowed to go out again. I would do this for work. It's just a really nice fixer upper for the meantime of getting your hair done at a salon. I'm so impressed right now. 
Welcome to day two, y'all. Today we're going to be testing out the L'Oreal Paris Colorista Hair Makeup for brunettes and black hair. I did test out the L'Oreal Paris Colorista in my previous testing out wash out hair products video, which I will link in the description below. I tested out a really beautiful pink color, but it did not show up in my hair pretty much at all because it is meant for a lighter colored hair. It is meant for a blonde. Didn't read that one when I was doing the video. So the color was beautiful, but it just did not show up in my hair. It was a spray bottle one. This is one that you kind of like put onto your fingers and run through your hair. And this one is specifically for brunettes and black hair. So I'm hoping that this one will show up a little bit more and be a little bit more prominent on my hair because my hair is darker, obviously, clearly not a blonde. So we're gonna be testing this one out. It says for best application, use it on your tips and your strands. So I'm going to do adjust that. It gives you exactly how to do this inside, six steps. But here we go. This is what it looks like. I will also link this in the description below. I got the color bronze auburn. So I don't know why they put the they put the instructions like inside. <laughs> so you pretty much have to break apart this whole entire thing just to see the instructions. It's very strange very very strange but let's open it up and see exactly how to use this it says one no gloves needed basically just going to put it on your fingers run it through a wide section of your hair add more if desired for an ombre effect apply more and then get a little bit lighter lay your hair air dry and then you can straighten it or you can style it style your hair as desired so pretty easy we're just going to test this out it says no gloves required it is not what did it say no gloves required gentle formula without ammonia or peroxide so it's safe on your skin so you just put it in your hair and then you wash your fingers out later it smells like a salon oh, it's so pretty look at how pretty that is <gasps> that's beautiful oh my god i love it so i'm just gonna take like i don't know should i do a strand like right over here all right i'm gonna run it through my fingers and then just Go right through. Oh, it smells like a salon. It smells like when you walk into a salon and they have all those different products going at the same time. Yeah, you can definitely see it. I have to definitely let it dry first before I can style it and play around with it. But so far, not bad. It'd be cool to do like little highlights with this. I love this little color. this is wild i don't know how i feel oh my goodness <laughs> all right so i'm gonna let this one dry i'm gonna let it do its thing i'm gonna let it air dry and then i will straighten it and play around but you can totally see the different color it's not like super prominent but it's like a highlight which is kind of nice do you see a difference at all i don't think i do <laughs> Okay, it has been a little while. I allow the product to dry completely and then I brush the product through for optimal results. It said that you could use the product on wet hair or dry hair. I clearly chose dry hair. And I have to say, I was quite skeptical at first but I am super digging this product. I'm not sure, you see that? You see how much red there is now? I'm not sure if my camera is like fully picking up on the color transfer, but you can see over here is my natural color. Right on the bottom is all of the red that I added in. It's not like super, super prominent, but I mean the color is totally, totally there. I'm going to get my camera and go to my window in a second and see if the sunlight and the natural lighting will bring out the color a little bit more. But I am actually really into this product. I probably used maybe maybe a fifth of the container and I only did a couple of strands here, here, and here. I probably did six strands total. This is not something that I would use on my entire head of hair, but I am very into it. I haven't even straightened it through yet because it doesn't look like super wavy. I thought after putting this in, my hair was gonna get like very wavy, but it actually still looks pretty straight and pretty natural. So let's see if I can get a better color over here. I'm like, wildly into this right now 
This is the color that my hair used to be when I used to dye it super, super red. And it's nice to know that I can go back to that for like a short period of time. You can totally see the color a lot more now in this lighting. I love, absolutely love. I wanna get a bunch more of the colors and play around with them. It's really nice to know that these are just like temporary and I did this like super, super quick in the viewfinder of my camera. Imagine how this would look if I actually took my time. I like, I like, I like so, so, so much. Thank you. I don't even know what product this was. This is like Colorista, I believe. Thank you, Colorista. This is so much fun. And I'm going to be buying like 10 more. Like, look at that color. Who has high hopes for this product? Not this curl right here. Next, I'm going to test out the Six Edge Blendable Hair Color. By the way, they are scented, scented sticks. This is the Edge Blendable Hair Color. Color tips of hair, color braids, color bangs, mohawks, hair streaks. Blend all the colors together for a rainbow look. I got this because look at this super photoshopped braid on the bottom. Or at least I think it's photoshopped. This might work like an absolute charm, but we're going to test it out. Color for your hair, face, and body. So you can use these sticks pretty much anywhere. <laughs> what even is this get the edge look so they look like little chalky type markers and we're gonna test it out i found these either on amazon or walmart i can't quite remember but you know what we're just gonna have fun with it this is what one of the sticks looks like and this is what the tip looks like Let's have fun guys. So I'm gonna do like a little rainbow effect, I think. I think I'll start at the top and I wanna see if I can actually achieve that rainbow look that they did on the cover. So I'm gonna start on the top and I'm gonna do a little bit of red and basically you just, you color on your hair. How does this even work? Let's see. All right, I'm gonna start down here so I can see it. Not working. It is red but it's like chalky, like it's not, that's not natural. Oh, well, that does not feel nice at all. Okay, look at that. It is red, I'll give it that much, but there's like chunks of, it doesn't even feel like chalk, it feels like, look at my hand right now too. What, what am I doing with my life right now? It feels like, what are those things called that you used to do in art class or maybe you still do it? It's like an oil type painting. I don't know. I'm not liking this right now. Let's try, let's try orange. Okay, it is making my hair orange. I have to give it that much. It's definitely making my hair orange, but if you look like super close, I'm going to try to get my hair to go super close up into the viewfinder. Do you see all of this over here? There's like chunks of the marker coming off on my hair. Okay, let's try, let's try blue. Maybe blue will do the trick. Oh, and it's like, it's not, like it doesn't go through very nicely. I really just bought this one for the thumbnail, to be honest with you. I mean, it, it's, I'm torn. Cause it's doing what it's saying it's going to do, but it just does not feel natural. Like that Colorista one that I just used, it felt super, super natural. This one feels like you're actually taking chalk or paint and just putting it onto your hair. Like, does does that look nice? Does anybody think that that's a good look for me? No, it is not. So I'm not going to use this, but I'm going to save it because it says that you can use it on your hair and your face and your body. And I might use this for like arts and crafts projects, but no, I would not suggest using this in your hair. Should I try one more color? Let's do one more color. Let's do, let's do purple. Dropping all of them. Right, purple doesn't come off at all does this look good <laughs> this does not look good would not recommend for your hair but maybe I would recommend for your body like let's see let's go on to my hands just it's a no it's a no on all accounts just don't get this one look at my hair now gross update clearly i give this a zero out of ten for using on your hair but i just played around with them a little bit on my hand for the thumbnail and 
10 out of 10 would recommend these blend hair sticks, whatever they're called, for your skin. These are so vibrant. They were so smooth going on your skin. The purple one that I tested out in that clip, it is very, very light. But besides that, the rest of them are so vibrant. They go on super smooth and I already tried to wash it off and it washes off immediately, which is really nice. I would say if you want this to like last a little bit longer on your skin, put like a makeup setting powder on top of it. But y'all, look how cool that looks. I'm keeping these, I'm playing around with these always. This would be really fun for like birthday parties if you're drawing on people's faces. I'm like literally living for this right now. Look, look at that. What? <laughs> welcome back guys well, welcome to day 6982 of social distancing and welcome to day three of allison you're probably going to ruin your hair today i'm going to be testing out a product that i actually already tested out in that first video again link in the description if you want to check it out i tested it out and apparently I tested it out completely wrong. You're supposed to test it out on wet hair, so I just got out of the shower, and I tested it out on dry hair, and let me tell you, the internet let me know that I made a mistake. So I thought I would do a little bit of redemption and see if it actually works when I do it the right way. This is the Mo Fajang definitely not probably but definitely pronouncing that wrong it is a hair wax you're supposed to start at the root with your hair wet and then go all the way down to the ends of your hair you're supposed to apply it at the roots bring it all the way down to the ends of your hair brush it through allow it to dry and then you can style it it washes right out i can attest to that from when i tested it the first time it does wash out immediately the color is very very beautiful but again i did it completely wrong the first time so i'm going for round two to see if i can make this work a little nervous it is supposed to leave your hair kind of like smooth it's not supposed to leave that like stiff feeling can't attest to that because i did it so wrong last time that it was just absolutely miserable but let me open this up and show you what it looks like i remember it feeling like very very waxy it's so flipping pretty like look at that color that's beautiful so i have my hair wax i have my hair brush i have wet hair and i have my towel which i will put right on top of me <laughs> and we're just gonna go to town with this guys let's have some fun First impressions, I love this color. It is much easier to place this product on some wet hair than dry hair, so thank you internet for calling me out on that one. The color is really beautiful. I only applied it using my viewfinder, so I'm gonna take a couple more like little scoops of this, go into the mirror and put a little bit more coverage on spots that are kind of spotty and then I'm going to allow it to dry and then maybe I will style it through either doing some curls or straighten it and I will be back to show you what it looks like. I really like this so far. Guys, this color is so fun. Look at how blue this looks right now. My hair is still like super, super wet. So I can't wait to see what it looks like when it dries. But look at this color. Oh, 
it's so flipping fun it really went on super easy it feels very soft and natural it doesn't have that stiff like crunchy feeling it does wash off i've been running my fingers through my hair right now so it's coming on my fingers a little bit again but it washes off like super super easily i'm like living for this right now this one is so much fun oh my god i'm low-key high-key obsessed with this product i allowed my hair to dry in its natural state i don't know if i ever showed my full-blown natural state here on youtube but here is my natural hair it's pretty wild but let's talk about this product it's amazing i think this is a product where practice makes perfect it's not 100% where I want it to be, but from when I tested it the first time to where it is now, night and day, the color is super, super vibrant. I think I need to practice applying it a little bit more. It is a little stiff now. It's still like movable, but it's a little stiff as opposed to when I put it in my hair when my hair was wet. But like, honestly, look at that color. The color transfer is beautiful and like i said i can attest that it completely washes out at the end of the day because i tested that out with the purple brand or the purple color in the first video but i'm obsessed <laughs> in my best david rose impression i'm obsessed with this like literally obsessed the color is so so beautiful so i think with like two or three more times practicing i can perfect it and be really really happy with it don't mind how red my face is right now i just blow dried my hair and like i'm all sorts of flushed after using that hot blow dryer but y'all 10 out of 10 out of 10 10 out of 100 10 out of a thousand the color is beautiful it was super easy and i love that you can just wash this out i feel like people go to the salon to get this color and my hair is really dark and the color is showing up super super well so i'll give you one more quick little close up yeah this is a good product <laughs> The last product that I will be testing out in this video is the L'Oreal Paris Colorista Spray One Day Color for Hints and Highlights. I got the shade hashtag purple 200. It does say right in the back that it will show up more vibrant if you have lighter color hair, but it is still meant for darker colored hair as well. If you use it in darker color hair, it is going to give more of like a tint rather than a full blown vibrant effect. So to use this, it is a spray on application. You place a towel around your shoulders. We're gonna skip that step. This is a very old dingy sweater, so I don't really care if it gets destroyed. It says shake well before each use. Hold the can four to six inches from the dry hair. This is going on dry hair, not wet hair, and spray. And then you wait a few minutes for the colors to dry completely. Then it says what to expect the lighter hair, the more vibrant the color result will be obviously and all over coloring may require more than one can so if you do want to do your entire head of hair depending on how long your hair is you'll probably need multiple cans so we're just gonna shake it up and we're gonna get ourselves started this is what the little application looks like looks kind of like that dry shampoo one that i tested out first which worked out so well today is also hair washing day so if this works great i don't know for the future if it doesn't work no harm no foul i'm just gonna be washing it out in like a couple of hours anyways all right here we go i think i'm just gonna do like i don't know shake it up and then i'll just start great job allison It does show up a lot <laughs> like look at that if you had blonde hair this is like really flipping vibrant but i have dark hair and i don't see anything in the viewfinder as of yet i also have very light colored walls and i'm like hey am i getting that all purple right now it smells really bad 
and it's super cold, which is actually kind of nice. <laughs> I do see purple. That's really cool. I do see it. I'll take you into some better lighting in a minute, but I do see purple, which is really cool. This is such a fun video. This might be like my favorite video I ever filmed. Everywhere. I'm a disaster. Every flipping wear right now. I'm gonna use the whole can right now. I don't even care. I'm gonna use the whole can. We're just gonna have fun. I have long hair. And it's not super sticky, like it's actually a pretty natural feeling, which is so nice. I'm gonna get so many negative comments in this video. Final thoughts. I love this color. I love this video. I love this color. It was super easy to apply. It does feel quite natural. However, my only con would be it doesn't remind me of a color that would mimic going to a salon. It reminds me more of a color that you would use if you're cosplaying or doing a bound or for Halloween or if you're dressing up in a costume of any sort. But with that being said, I love it. The color is so much fun. I mean, I definitely had a very heavy hand. If and when I use this again, I will definitely A, not do it in a viewfinder and B, take my time and maybe just do like little sections. But oh my God, I'm having so much fun getting colorful hair right now. I've always wanted to have colorful hair, but with me being a teacher, oh my God, wonderful Allison. Just great way to end this video. But with me being a teacher, I was never able to like fully commit to it and it's really fun that you can get these colors without fully committing so that is it for this video if you guys like any of the products i will link them all in the description below if you guys liked this video please give it a huge thumbs up a nice purple thumbs up like comment subscribe whatever you would like it all helps a ton i love you guys and i hope that you're having a beautiful day and i hope that you again enjoyed this video i hope you're all well and safe and healthy and i look forward to talking to you all soon bye guys